Before using Restic, you need to install it on your Linux system. The installation process is simple and can be done via your package manager or by downloading the binary. Next, you need to create and initialize a backup repository, which is used to store backups locally or on a cloud service. This command will prompt you to enter a password to encrypt your backups. Make sure to choose a strong password and store it safely because you will need it later to restore your backups. To back up a directory, for example slash home slash user slash documents, use the following command, which will encrypt and store the backup in the repository you created. You can add multiple directories or files to the backup command. After performing a backup, you can check the status of your backups using the following command. This command will show you a list of all backups or snapshots stored in the repository, including the date and time of each backup. To restore a directory from a backup, use the following command. The latest option restores the most recent backup. You can also specify a particular snapshot ID if you want to restore from an older backup. To ensure regular backups, you can automate the backup process using cron jobs. This way, you don't have to manually backup your data every time. Open your cron tab file by running this command. Add a cron job to backup your data at a specific interval. For example, to backup every day at 2 a.m., use this line. Over time, your backup repository may grow in size, you can prune backups using the following command, which will keep the last 7 backups and delete older ones. You can adjust the keep last option to suit your needs. You can also prune backups based on time, such as keeping backups from the last month.